The full-size sedan segment's really heating up, with new or completely revised entries from most of the major automakers, and Hyundai is one of those automakers. Hi, I'm Joel Feder with High Gear Media, and today we're going to review the 2012 Hyundai Zera. Hyundai's really been on a roll lately when it comes to design, and the new Azera is no different. Now, it has a swept back front end, wrap around rear end, and deep side sculpting that really play into design-minded consumers, and Hyundai is using their fluidic sculpture as their design theme here. Now, we really like, and you'll note, the details. The LED tail lights, HID headlights, and LED accent lighting in the front headlights. You'll also note the side mirrors have LED turn signal indicators. Overall, the exterior is a really sharp design. Inside the Azera, you'll notice a very cockpit-like design approach. The dashboard's pushed very far forward, and this gives a very open, airy feeling inside the Azera. You'll notice the Y-shaped design center stack. There are lots of hard, big buttons to use. There's no soft touch buttons here. You have all your audio, your climate control, your navigation settings right here, and they're very easy to use and within reach of the driver. The front seats are comfortable and very adjustable, and we really like how Hyundai assembled the power seat controls, somewhat like a Mercedes-Benz in style on the upper door trim. As much as we really like the front seats, the rear seats are actually very comfortable and have a lot of legroom. There's just enough headroom with two recessed areas cut into the headliner, but unfortunately, the middle seat is more suited for a child with a raised seat and no recess in the headliner. Also, I'm 5'10", and the gorgeous roof line really cuts into headroom when you're trying to get in and out. All 2012 Azeras are powered by a 3.3 liter Lambda V6 producing 293 horsepower and 255 pound-feet of torque. Power sent to the front wheels with a six-speed automatic transmission. No all-wheel drive, no hybrid is available. We do like that the engine is a high rever and peak power is made at 6,400 RPMs, but it has a lot of low-end torque. Now, the EPA rates this engine at 20 miles per gallon in the city and 29 miles per gallon on the highway. The steering in the 2012 Hyundai Azera is actually better tuned than that of the midsize Sonata or any front wheel drive Hyundai as of late. It has good honest center feeling and the weighting builds predictably. It's exactly what a comfort oriented full size sedan buyer is going to be looking for. Safety wise, the 2012 Hyundai Azera actually swept the test by the IIHS. It has nine standard airbags, including a driver's side knee airbag and side rear impact bags. It has electronic stability control, traction control, and analog brakes, as you expect. With the new Azera, Hyundai's actually dropped the base model Azera altogether, making the new base model or entry-level Azera actually cost $6,000 more than the last generation Azera. But with a base price of $32,000, all Azeras come standard with a navigation system, backup camera, leather, push-button start, and Bluetooth connectivity. Our test car includes the $4,000 technology package, adding larger 19-inch alloy wheels, HID headlamps, a power rear sunshade and manual rear side shades, a panoramic sunroof, ventilated front seats, a 550-watt Infiniti Logic 7 sound system, and among other things, Hyundai's Blue Link's telematic system, which is standard for six months and then $79 per year. It's somewhat like GM's OnStar system, offering turn-by-turn -turn directions, emergency alerts, and maintenance reminders, along with much more. So what's the bottom line with 2012 Azera? Well, with a base price of just $32,000 and as Tesla price just under $37,000, the 2012 Hyundai Azera has real design appeal, true performance, and real luxury car ambience. I'm Joel Feder with High Gear Media, and this has been our review of the 2012 Hyundai Azera. Also, be sure you're following us on Twitter at, at CarConnection and follow us on Facebook at The Car Connection.